Hello everyone, this is Kyle Lott and Brendan Malloy. Hello. We're doing draft radio, yay! And it's Brendan's birthday, woo! Woo! Birthday draft. Uh, and we've got a pretty decent pack, we've got an ultimate price uh, during victory. That's pretty much it. I think ultimate price is good. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Simple case of let's pick the good removal. Um, now this is interesting. Yes. Uh, Swift War Kite is very good. But it sort of locks you into taking a lot of low drops. Then Sandcrafter Mage is probably the best, like, overall common. But, like, it's not super, super great in terms of, like, black cards that I like. Oh, uh, there's Reckless Imp. There is Reckless Imp. And there um, also is Defeat. There is Defeat. Anyone. But that's more of a sideboard card. I, I would agree. I, I, I've not found that Defeat is very good. I will, however, say that Vial of Dragonfire is solid. It has performed above expectations, yes. Yeah. Um... Inox Survivalist always a... Yeah, Inox Survivalist always very good. So my, my thinking is that we either take Sandcrafter Mage or Vial of Dragonfire. That's me personally. I don't know about you. Our first pick was an ultimate price. Our first pick was an ultimate price. So we're still, like, completely open. Uh, I'd, uh, I'd take a gander to the Sandcrafter Mage. All right, Sandcrafter Mage it is. Well, we got a Flatten. Uh, flatten is very good. Flatten... Yeah, yeah. more brute. This is a great pack. But I mean we gotta stay on color here. Yeah. Removal is removal and that is a hand of Slimger or another Spring War Brute. Uh, we already passed the Spring War Brute left. I just really he's a house. He is so strong. Um He is. He is a brick house, in fact. Late center soul, but I mean it's gonna not wheel to us, but whatever. I found that center soul was actually a lot worse than feet of resistance. Yeah. Personally. I mean, I, I'm fine just taking Hand of Slimger here, but, I, I mean, there's probably a fair case made for Spring Horn Brute or Tail Slash. My, oh, my yeah, thing is that just we, we stay on we just stay on, on Collar and stay on Target. Yeah, let's let's do that. Plus, Hand of Slimger is very good regardless of what kind of archetype we Whoa, wind up in. late Circle of Elders. That is a very late Circle of Elders, actually. That might be it. If we take that, we might be able to go black push, green. A, push a little green signal. There's also a Scion of Ujin, which is colorless. Yeah. I don't like taking that in terms of, like, hedging our bets. Like, we're always going to need at least a six... Like, a six-mana 4-4 four, four flyer is perfectly fine. Um, yeah, that's not bad either. My um, instinct is to take Scion of Ujin, although I, I, you're right. This is a really late circle. I mean, we're going to have a green player to our left if we pass this. Pretty much. I mean, like, we haven't... Have we passed anything else that's really green, though, to encourage them? Yeah, we passed some good cards for green-red. Um, we did We did pass the three-mana 3-3. Three, three. Um, yeah. Mini, mini Dagatar. Well, it's it's your birthday, so it's your pick. That's that's how this works. Take Circle, or I think it's Circle, Pick Street Circle or Ugin. I take the Ugin. Yeah. All right, now we got an Epic Confrontation, oh, so now now we have to take Epic Confrontation. Yeah. But that's okay. We stayed we stayed uh, as like obligatory as possible. Black has just dried up for we us, though. We should have. Hmm. We take Conifer Strider, or a Pinion Feast, or Sandstorm Charger. To go with our white card. I think Sandstorm Charger. Yeah. I mean, like, we, if we take Sandstorm Charger, we've got an off-color morph. We're definitely getting past green, right? Uh, and there's Tread Upon. There's a Sheltered Airy. There's a Wandering Tomb Shell. Something we could do is if we wanted to take out Sand of Slimger, we could be we could be Abzon and use Sheltered Airy to splash for ultimate price and flatten. Um, possibly, yeah. That's a possibility. Because, like, Tread Upon's fine, though. I mean, either way. Or we could... I mean, then, of course, there's the, the case to be made for taking the 1-6 for 4 mana and being yeah. a control archetype, which I, I don't mind either. Um, huh. My instinct is to take the either the Sheltered Airy or the Wandering Tomb Shell. I'd take the uh, Wandering Tomb Shell. Yeah. I just have a feeling that... We've passed so much green to our left. If we start moving into green, we're not going to get past it in the second pack. Well, here's the thing. We wouldn't get past it in the second pack, but we'd probably get rewarded in pack three. I mean, Carsey Sadis is fine here, too. Oh, yeah. It's uninspiring. Reckless, then. Uh, oh, what the heck? What target Beastbreaker or an Inox Survivalist. Who? I actually think Survivalist is pretty yeah. good. Yeah. You're basically getting... We get a Beastbreaker anyway? Yeah. 
and like segmented Crotic. Did we make a green player to our left, or did people just like take green cards because they had to and aren't really willing to play it? I don't think anyone took. I mean, Titan Strike and then Ancestral Statue. But... You know what I'm saying? Like the cards just didn't make it around to us because of how powerful they were, but people aren't actually in green. I don't know. I mean, like this we'll is see. a solid black green list already. Like it's uninspiring, but it's Assault Formation. 2015, we did it. Yeah. Well, folks, <laughs> you wanted it, so here it is. The Assault Formation deck. And uh, what goes better with Assault Formation than a, a 3-6, in fact? There's also an Airy Bowmasters and a Colossus on Yearling. We might even get this Yearling back. Yeah, let's take the Gravecrawler. Ooh, I, we uh, gotta take Ultimate Price. Yeah, that's I, a late the, I want, Price. God, this makes all of our Wandering Tomb Shells so good, though. Yep. Oh my god. Yep. Oh, give Wandering me... Wandering Tomb Shells a bomb in this deck. Now we, now we get side of the Scale Lords. That'd be great. Yeah. That'd be great. That's basically what we need to go with this, essentially. Yeah, I mean, I'm, this is awesome. This is uh, insane. Another uh, course. Berserker's Onslaught is really good. Yeah. But, I, I mean, Lurking yeah. Ernix is awesome. It's not great if we're going to try to force this toughness deck. It's perfect in the top. Well, I mean, the Carsey Sadis is a 3-3 three, three for 2. This is a 5-mana five 5-5 five with an ability. I think it's a bit early to hate draft anyway. Well, we're, we're, we're in green, though, is the thing. No, I'm two. talking about for the Berserkers on play. Oh, yeah, so. I'm not taking... Honestly, I feel like people overrate this card. Yeah, it's decent in a couple decks. Yeah. It's a great bomb for the uh, early aggressive aggro deck. Yeah. If it does get dragged out, you but have it's, that. Yeah, but I don't... Not much else. I think we take Aranex here, although yeah. I, I I don't think you're necessarily wrong in thinking Sadist. It's your choice. Because remember, it's your birthday, so you get to pick. Birth. I, I'd take the Lurking. Lurking, Lurking? Aranex, yeah. All right. Well, shiver me timbers. That's a hand of slinger. Yep. All right, so good strong aggressive, good strong death touch stuff. Salt road ambushers. Salt road ambushers to make our morphs that much better. Ooh. Ooh Minister of pain, wandering tomb shell. Oh, we gotta take minister of pain, right? Yeah. Yeah. But we'll get a wandering tomb shell at some point. Oh my, or airy bow masters. Yeah. Vulture is even too in this pack. Just to point it out. Before yeah. We before we grab it, yeah, yeah, but yeah. We, we did pick the Air Evil Masters very quickly, but yeah, yeah, was... I was gonna say I couldn't like whirlwind slam that fast enough. I'm like, gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> <laughs> I want this. I mean, I... We could probably take out the segmented for now. I mean, I like if segmented have... actually with Salt Road Ambushers too, because remember Salt Road Ambushers puts counters on our guys and they unmorph. Yeah. I mean, like I, I'll, I'll run segmented. Like I think segmented is personally a better thing to run than well, no, because we have salt formation. I was gonna say better than tomb shell, but then we we're like we have salt formation. Another Inox, Nine, survivalist, another Inox I survivalist. This guy does some work, actually. He does. We've seen three Inox survivalists in this draft. Plus a lot, a lot of there are a lot of enchantment. Uh, what was it? He's enchantment, right? He's enchantment and artifact. Oh my! Would you look at that? Another wandering, wandering tomb, tomb shell. Yeah. I wonder what deck it would be greatest in. Hello, assault formation. I love you. I mean, we missed out on getting the uh, side of the scale lords to make this deck powerful. We did. Although I will say, um, the way that this deck works now, I, I think it's Assault Formation fine. I think Assault Formation is still a blowout. And we get your Carsey Sadist anyway. Yeah. I mean we could have I guess a Durger name Nemesis. Uh Updraft Elemental is not really yeah. a threat to us. No. Whereas like Durger Nemesis trades for our, our six six wandering shells. Let's see what else we got in this pack. Alyssa, Reach of Shadows, Battle Brawler. Um what turns on Battle Brawler again? White and red. So nothing Reach we have. Shadows. Yeah, Reach of Shadows I think is a perfectly fine pick here. Nice solid removal spell. Yep. Instant speed. That is another Alesha. It's also a Dowsing Gloom, and we have a very strong red player somewhere at this deck. And it's stable now. Yeah. yeah. But, you know what goes really good against red? Dowsing, dowsing Gloom. Dowsing Gloom and Toughness. Yeah, though. Dowsing Gloom and Toughness. So the question is, though, do we take another Reach of Shadows or do we hate draft the Elite Scale Guard? Skill guard's absurd. He really is. And it's not like we're not removal light. Like, we have a flatten, we have two ultimate prices, a the, Reach of Shadows and Dowsing This Dowson is something Gloom. I'm willing to get rid of because it's very good against our deck. I I completely agree. Here, though, I think we can dedicate, oh, no, I was going to say we could dedicate a pick to a split land, but then Wild Call? Yeah. Wild Call. I mean, like, Wild Call? Someone was talking about Wild Call, and they're like, it's Ooh, either... A why is there a Bathe and Dragonfire in here? I don't know. Do we have people drop? I have no idea. I mean, there's a Grim Contest. I think that's what we should 
Teak. Oh, yes, there's a typhoid the, rats too. The, oh, is there a t- typhoid? Rats? And like we're uh, actually we got like the two handed slingers, and we're in the toughness deck, so we might want grim contest. I agree. I I think that's solid reasoning. We actually might have to cut a card. Yeah. We actually what have I, to cut two cards. What I was gonna point out is, did we have uh, people drop or something? I don't know. Because uh, that was that's way too late for a bait of the dragon fire. Sure, it's another typhoid rats. Shore up the playables. Yeah. And so, this is insane. This deck is already absurd. Actually, we gotta remember that those bow people, we can turn them out of defender mode. Which bow people? The like the what is it like a, a five one reach bow person? Oh uh, the yeah it's it's so unrememberable I can't remember its name. I knock artillerist is a four one. For no three. no not that one. But that doesn't the one that from has... Fate Reforged. Everyone hated Ugh. typhoid rats or grim contest same thing. Uh yeah I mean like we. <laughs> What is going on? I don't even think I need another Grim Contest. I'll just take Typhoid Rats. Yeah. Uh, would you like another Typhoid Rats? No, I'm not positive what's going on. There's also Sibisig Muck Draggers to give us back our dudes. And there's, I mean, the it goes well with us, It gives we us want. well for Assault Formation, too. Yeah. What is happening? I mean, we take the battle? No. Um, Wait, what is he? Is a 2-2 two, two for 2? Two? He'd be a, yeah, he's just a 2-2 two, two for 2 for us. Which I mean isn't bad. Wait, what? Uh, Honors, rewards for life, and then plus some put two balls or two. Return to the earth. Is, is, yeah. It's a good sideboard, I guess. Battle brawler, I guess. In case we need a two drop. Mm. I mean, ba- yeah, I'd take battle brawler. These are all pretty. But return to the earth is not bad. Oh look. Oh the uh, Corsi but the, archers the... is the one I was thinking of. Wow, it does have defender. It has defender. I never check. noticed that. Yeah, that's why it sucks. I've played... It, it, I mean, it sucks generally. Like, yeah, but we can turn Defender off. Yeah, but then it's a 2-2 with Assault Formation. Oh, yeah, because of Assault Formation. Typhoid Rats! Yep. <laughs> no, oh, Reach your Shadows! What the heck? Did everybody drop? Taking a Frontier Mask on over a other thing. Uh, Shadow Spear, I guess. Like, we're not going to splash for white. What is going on? I'm I'm genuinely confused as to uh, Triangle Cove. Somebody else can play Archers of Carsey. Yeah. Someone else can make that mistake. We don't, but, we don't um, even need the Grim Contest either. Let's look down. Oh, we, we can't tell anyway who dropped. We'll just see their names. Yeah. Out. Did we ever set up a tap out match? I don't even know if anyone wants to play. Hyper looks like he's excited. I just I would like to test this deck out. I I'm so confused. Well, a fifteenth fit Grim. Po- we're not, I don't even think we'll play Grim. We did two people, three people draft. Three yeah. people drop. That explains it. Computer can't pick. Uh, what? What? Computer's just like bathing dragon fire. Nah. Nah, man. Nah. We don't, we don't need Grim contests. We'll pass you five typhoid rats. I guess. I don't even think we need the Grim contest in all honesty. We only need six six removal. I don't need that. Our removal spells are insanity already. I mean, technically seven with the epic confrontation. Yeah. Which epic confrontation is such a good card. And then there's nine there, and then like it's just like bu- 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 broken. We have twenty playables. We have twenty nine cards. We have to cut six cards. I mean segmented crotic. Yeah. Yeah, like just said. Oh, just grab the it for gra- the grab the notepad. I, or I'll grab the notepad. You can talk about stuff to pick because we just need to know what stuff to sideboard. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I'm fine with even t- with even cutting this epic confrontation, so we have enough creatures to maintain pressure. I mean, we can obviously we could cut a typhoid rats. I don't think we need three. Well, yeah, that's the thing too. Like, because we have two Hannah Slimmigers, I don't think three typhoid rats are necessary. We got two wandering tomb shells. I mean, they're good in our deck. They are good in our deck, but are they good if we draw the if unless we draw a soul formation? Uh so like I'm fine cutting so like we need to cut basically I mean, the dilemma I'd seven ra- cards. I'd rather honestly cut assault. Not We definitely cut an epic confrontation here though. Our removal suite is already insane. Like we don't with two yeah, with just, two reach of shadows, flatten douse and gloom. I we I don't we don't need that's the early removal though is what I'm looking at. It doesn't have that five mana price tag. I mean we've got two two drops and then a three drop removal spell. It's definitely something we can, we can side in against uh right. mono red or like if we need it, yeah. But like I mean even then Epic Confrontation's not that great against the the mono red. I mean really like re- realistically it's really not yeah, that awesome. Take out the segmented crotic, I guess one typhoid rat. 
Oh, well, let's see. If we take out Epic Confrontation, yeah, both the Wandering Tomb shells would be. And we had a grim. Four cuts. We had a grim contest down the sixteen. Well, I don't want to cut both of them. I mean, both two, of them. No, I said I don't want to cut both of them. I think we can cut one car sea sadist. Yeah. I think that's fine. Yeah, um, so instead, and that's the four we need. One typhoid rats, the segmented crotic, one wandering tomb shell, and that guy. Uh, one typhoid rats. One typhoid rats, one wandering tomb shell, and the segmented. I, I and then segmented crotic. Are we sure we want to cut segmented crotic? I I mean I I like uh, I like segmented. I I think you're no yeah no you're right yeah yeah, yeah you're right. The deck is very consistent without him. But he is, he's a lot of power at the end. He is. I just, like, I'm worried that, like, we need... Because you're right, we have a lot of expensive cards. Um, and I would like for our deck to get uh, to the late game, so to speak. Yeah. Testing on a standard deck. I am actually testing a standard deck. Or was testing a standard deck, I should say. Abzan Midrange, reliable on the test. Uh, it's just been called Abzan Midrange. The deck is not even close to, to Abzan Midrange anymore. Oh. Yeah. Ironically enough. Um, you were just, like, messing around with stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's been basically... I, so I think I think the deck is very strong. I think it's very consistent. We did. We never really So 25. Opened. So we actually have to cut two more cards. Yeah, we never really opened that. So we need to cut two super, more cards. Um, I mean, I find... What is a? I mean, our target beast breakers okay. We have a lot of no. A target beast breaker is actually not okay. Yeah, that's what because, I was looking at. Yeah, because like, assault formation actually doesn't. It says they assign combat damage, but like his power is never going to. We're, we're like formidable is actually really hard for our deck to hit. I actually think we cut a target beast breaker. Yeah. How many cards do we need to cut? Two. Two. Yeah, because I, I just like my eyes gravitated towards him and was like, with all of our great two drops, do we really need him? No, we really don't, actually. We do uh, another Grim Contest that we caught earlier. What else did we, uh... Do we really not need? I don't know. Uh, that's the, the, this is a tough... This is, this is a good problem to have, by the way, people. When after a draft, you're just like, Wow, we have so many playables, what do we cut? Yeah. I mean, the other Wandering Tomb Shell. I, I don't know. I really no. Like, I, I honestly like think with, yeah. We keep the, that wandering tomb shell. I want to be able to like make it. Yeah. I mean, we took out the crotic, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. No. There, well, there was the one cut we missed. Yeah, segment to crotic. No, we did not. All right, so we're good then. Yeah, we're good. Hopefully, we get a chance to play it. I mean, we, we got to check with the guy. Yeah, but hopefully we will. He looked excited about his deck though, so. Uh, hopefully. and I think we're running ten seven with ten swamps and then seven. Yeah, we looked like we were light on um, um, light green. Ten swamp, sub force. Seem good. Yep. Seems good. All right, folks. Deck looks well. We are ready to go. I will see you. Oh yeah. In round one.